Right now, your KNOE 8 News hour by hour forecast. Well, good evening and happy Saturday. You're taking a live look at the Green and Crate Tower Cam overlooking Monroe this evening. Clear skies at the moment, but cloud cover will be working its way back into the region as we head throughout the rest of the evening. Temperatures in the low 70s at this moment. We are going to fall into the upper 60s tonight. That's still pretty warm for this time of year, especially for an overnight low. Humidity is still pretty up there with dew points in around 67 degrees. We'll see that mugginess stay with us throughout the day tomorrow. This is all largely in part due to a high pressure system off towards our east. East. High pressure moves in a clockwise direction, which means winds out of the south for us, bringing in that moisture, but also bringing in the humidity. Up towards our north, we have a low pressure system with a warm front associated with it. We have some severe thunderstorm warnings in place for portions of Kansas, Missouri, Iowa, and Nebraska. There's a cold front associated with the back of that low pressure system. That's where we'll be watching as we head towards tomorrow evening. Throughout the day tomorrow, cloud cover is really the only thing we have to worry about. A few of our southern parishes need to watch out for some scattered showers starting in the morning and lasting with us until the early afternoon. We are seeing breaks in the clouds plus some blue sky as we head towards the evening hours. Once we look towards the overnight, the slow pressure system is going to be moving to our due north up through Missouri with a cold front associated with it, pushing a nasty line of thunderstorms through portions of Missouri and Arkansas. The system will be making its way south through Arkansas as we head throughout the evening hours. Here's about midnight on Monday. The system closely approaching our more northwestern counties up in Arkansas. And once it starts to make its way into our region, it's going to be losing a little bit of its steam. Still going to see some noisy thunderstorms move through Ashley and Union County, especially as we head towards the early morning hours on Monday. Eventually, those systems will start to clear out as we head towards Monday morning, breaking up by the time they reach I-20. But for those north of I-20, we do have the potential for some severe weather, especially in our two Arkansas counties at that marginal risk for just the upper corners of Ashley and Union Parish. But again, that could start to stretch a little bit more towards the south, depending on how much energy these storms have with them. The main impacts we're expecting to see large hail and potentially strong winds. But tonight, a calm evening, 67 degrees for overnight low. Tomorrow, we start to see that rain pick up as we head towards the overnight hours. Temperatures, though, in the upper 80s. Then another day of severe weather is in store for us this week. We're watching Wednesday closely as another cold front will be making its way into the region, knocking temperatures back into the 70s and eventually the 60s by Friday.